My name is Haas Booty, and I represent a company called Burnaby Manufacturing. Burnaby manufactures a product called the gas plug, and that's uh, an item used to hook outdoor appliances up to house piping. And this uh, one I'm going to demonstrate to you today is a double. So uh, the gas plug uh, has various models, and this one has two. When you first take it out, you want to make sure that there's no damage on it. Sometimes the damage will appear on the box or appear on the unit itself, but not the box. But often, if it's if it's on the box, then you gotta be cautious on the inside. Now, when you'll notice the, the instructions there, as well as a warning tape across the packing, and that warning tape is meant so that so that the person that does the install doesn't leave the plug in for safety reasons, because with that plug in, the gas will flow. This plug is designed to go onto the hose of the appliance. I have a model here that's already mounted. Each one of these outlets comes with some standoffs, and that standoff is designed to be adjustable from three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half, and that'll allow you to mount the box off the wall should the wall be rough, should you be using siding uh, or a stone finish, and you can adjust these from three quarters to inch and a half. You can either use them, in this case we didn't use them. This shows it mounted flush on a stucco wall. It's clearly identified with gas. The lid opens to 135 degrees, so for ease of access, not only for installation, but for ease of use. But you should still mount the unit about 20, 18 inches to 24 inches off the deck so that you can get into the box easily. You'll see that it's identified with a label inside for the maximum pressure and the capacity. This particular model is a half PSI maximum pressure. You can get these with regulators for two PSI. However, this one's the low pressure and it's 60,000 BTU on each leg of this double. It's designed to be installed on the stub out and then the box slid over top after for ease of installation. The manual valve needs to be turned off before you can disconnect. And there's a thermal valve in each one of these legs. If, it, if this assembly reaches over 300 degrees, then the, there's an automatic shut, shut off of the gas. It stops the flow. If there's a mishap for your barbecue or your uh, one of the stands or the patio heater gets tipped over and there's an issue, over 300 degrees shuts on the flow automatically. So now we're going to have a look at the installation uh, of most of, the, uh, most of the gas plugs are installed with the same uh, principles, shall we say. So this is a wall section that we're looking at. And this is a piece of piping coming from your main up through the floor. I don't have a floor here, but this is to simulate a floor. And when you come up through the floor, you, you need to have at least a two inch hole there. And the idea behind that is to make sure that there's some flexibility in your pipe while you're doing your installation. That's the key. Your distance on how far you go out will be, will be by this nipple here. That'll govern the distance that you go out. But once you've chosen where that location is and you've drilled the hole through, when you come up through here, you need that flexibility. And that will go for all models. Now, having a look at the front of the installation, again, remembering that we need to have this pipe flexible. The, lip, the nipple that you allow will allow about five-eighths to three-quarters of an inch out once it's finished. So while you're working on it, you can pull it out. It's got that flexibility. You take your assembly, a little harder from the side than what it might be from the front. Remember to put pipe dope on here. In this demonstration, we didn't do that just because it's messy. So you have to put some pipe dope on that. And when you get it in the straight position, and you've done your installation, you need to test that joint, okay, before you go any further. You need to make sure that's tight. 
Now, in all the other installations, you can just have a hole the size of the pipe. In this particular one, you're going to need a hole that's a little larger so that the actual elbow goes part way into the, into the uh, sheeting. So you'll be able to see that when I show you the finished product at, and when it's installed. You'll put your box over top, the installation, force your assembly back. There's a clamp inside the box. Make sure it's straight. And there's two holes in that base that you're going to line those cushion clamps up with. At that point, you've got your assembly secured to the wall, and you're going to make your box straight as you need to before you put the other screws in. Once that's done, you're finished. Remember, don't leave your plugs in the couplings when you're done. Now I'm going to take you down to this installed unit, and you can see that the hole is bigger in this one than it was on the, if you've looked at the other videos, than, than this one I'm, I'm, I've got here, which was for the other units, simply because that throat in that elbow needs to go flush into, and then when you would do your caulking, right around that elbow to seal in that unit. We have one here that's mounted with the standoffs in case you need to bring it out from the wall and you can see it there. And we also have one with a backing plate for siding installations.